Yes, I'm back. And right now I'm talking about the unfortunate situation that happened um, out in Ohio State. Let's go ahead and play a clip. Fox News alert uh, for you, Melissa. We're getting brand new information about the situation on the Columbus uh, campus of Ohio State University. A second station now reporting that the shooter is dead. WBNS, the CBS affiliate in Columbus, is saying that the shooter is dead and that police killed that person. We also had that report uh, earlier from the Columbus dispatch that the shooter is dead. We understand that a total of eight people have been transported to the hospital as a result of an active shooting situation on the campus of one of the largest universities in the nation, Ohio State University. 60,000 students attend there. And it has been a terrifying return from Thanksgiving break. Uh, this has been underway for a little more than an hour, about an hour and 20 minutes. But again, a second uh, news media outlet reporting that the shooter is dead. As we get more information, we'll bring it to you live on Happening Now. So you yeah, heard that. The media is already um, making it about him being a Melanoid Somalian man. And the officer, the European officer who uh, killed this brother, they're already making him out to be a hero, of course. And it's interesting because today the U.S. decided to add groups of Somalia to the terror list. And then all of a sudden, a Somalian man uh, stabs nine people at Ohio State. See, it's a game, man. America, they use media to uh, to demonize a group of people so they can go to their land and colonize it and rape them for the resource. And then um, you got neo-Nazis on Twitter Complaining about pe us race baiting, but y'all were quick to make the situation about race. Keep pointing out that this man is Somalian, because when Europeans go on mass shooting rage, you try your damn hardest to uh, conceal their identities and what ethnicity they are from. But as soon as the Melanoid Somalian man Allegedly stabs nine people. Then, oh, he's a black man. It's Obama's fault. He radicalized him with the Black Lives Matter movement. All that fuck shit. But, I mean, it's unfortunate, though. So I hope the people who allegedly got stabbed, I hope they're doing all right in the hospital. Uh, let me know what y'all think, though. About this situation. Get in the comments. Like. Subscribe. Share the video.